reliable, balanced and semi-automatic, it's an all-rounder masterpiece that has proven its worth in the hands of soldiers, target shooters and hunters alike. Just be careful not to pinch your thumb when reloading it. So you do get that ping from the, uh, from the actual clip. Oh, the, oh, like the, to alert, yeah, because it is a wartime weapon, right? Yeah, so it's a ping. The M1 had an iconic ping, yep. didn't it, once the, the, uh, the clip ejected? And then you have to put, I think it was like, wasn't it like four to six shots or something from the M1? Yeah, something, it wasn't very, very many rounds, but yeah, just to alert, uh, yeah, alert the shooter that, uh, reload time. Ping. I'm going for the veteran. The Hudzik is a high-end Civil War era Caplock rifle. What's a Caplock? I'm guessing that's a, um, a muzzle loader. Is that what it refers uh, to? A yeah. Well, there's different types of muzzle loaders, so you can have uh, a Caplock. Is uh, I think it's the you put a cap on the end of it, and that's what fires that. Oh, that the top bit. It. Yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. This near perfectly maintained muzzle loader still offers incredibly versi uh, versatility to traditional hunters if they can master its lengthy and complex reloading process. A perfect weapon for the confident hunter, as challenging as it is rewarding. So, I'm just pointing it out there, Taco. A long time ago, me and you had this little thing where we would ask each other after every update, what weapons would you like to see? Mm -hmm. You said some kind of muzzle loader as a potential thing to be added in the future, and then I would always say something stupid like, give me a 50 cal. Right. Like... <laughs> And they go ahead and add a muzzle loader. That's a 50 cal. Yep. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, is that the lever action that Arnold Schwarzenegger uses in Terminator 2? When he does the, the rotate thing? Oh, <laughs> yeah, when he's on his bike. Oh, dude, it might be, you know. It kind of looks like that middle one, the rancher, that he uses. But I like the gold on the deputy. I'm going to take the deputy. A firearm as tenacious as they come. This lever action shotgun follows the legacy of the gun that won the West. Delivering unrelenting power with its 10-gauge brass shells, with the largest bore in any commercially produced shotgun, the Miller Model 1891 leaves little to be desired when it comes to the close-range stopping power. I'm going to say this is the one Arnold Schwarzenegger used, it, used, and then people in the comments are going to be like, nope, it's not, you idiot. This is the one he used instead, but it's, it's good to hope. <laughs> Just fire one shot and reload. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the, the reload animation, it looks kind of... Oh, okay, that's kind of sick, what you just did there. Right, switch to the M1. ADS. How sick does that look with the little hole and stuff like you that. got? It's very yeah. reminiscent of those old films and stuff. You, you right. want to hear the ping? Ooh. Should be the ping next. Okay, why is that so loud? Did you do the ping? Uh, yeah, I heard the ping on the last shot. Uh, here's the reload. Oh, there you go. Sticking it in with your thumb. Lock it forward, and it's good to go again. Nice. I don't know why it's nice. that loud, though. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to test why it's so incredibly loud. Oh, look at it. It's so ridiculously huge. It's, you know, just old school. I love it. Wait, stop. Stay there. Keep ADSing with it. I want to show everyone at home the, uh, the oil spill effect. So I don't know if you guys can actually see that. But if you look near Taco's right hand... See on the side of that plate, it's got the oil spill effect. And if you look down the barrel, how nice is that? I love that color combination. If I could, I'd have it on everything, on all of the weapons. I love that stuff. And the scope. Right, let it rip, Taco. Oh, that puff of smoke. Oh, oh it's automatically reloading. <laughs> I didn't tell it to. So you throw that in there. And it pulls the tube out, pushes all that right down. Okay, so it's got a long reload time. Very clean animation, though. That's one of the cleanest animations I've seen for any of the weapons, yeah. including the ones that have been there from the start. So that's actually nice. Right, let me have a go. And then the flint lock. Yep, yeah, the, yeah, there it is right there. That's cool. That flint you got lock, it? Put the cap. Yep, and then it puts the cap right, on. Let me just there. shoot over this side. I want to know if this is as loud as it was for when you fired it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's that ping. It's got a lot of kick to it as well. Okay, so reload. Pushing it down. All the way in, then flick it forward. Good to go again. Again, though, it seems extremely loud. I mean, obviously, shots are loud. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, why is it so loud? Is it because gunfire isn't that loud? It absolutely is, but I mean, it's excessively loud. 
the other weapon packs were not this loud. Right, yeah. slot number three is the uh, the big boy. Right, this is what it looks like without the scope. And with the scope, I love that one. That Vasily Zaitsev style one. Right, here we go. Ooh, that looks pretty sweet, that puff of smoke. Okay, I don't have the thing in my hand. Well, I didn't have the, uh, the 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 gunpowder sack in my hand, or whatever you call it. Oh, <laughs> he just dumped it just, nothing in. Yeah, just empty. Still nice though. I like the audio as well of the actual tube and the the uh, metallic sound rubbing against each other. And flick it forward. The caps back on, and we're good to go. So that does have a long reload time. I mean, we got a 50 cal in the game. So seeing as though we're making our way over to the watering hole now, we're going to try and find some animals and test the weapons. But we have been getting some messages from people asking why we haven't been playing Call of the Wild. Personally, what I can say to you guys at home right now is lately the game's just not been up to par with performance. So this is even before what I'm about to tell you guys. Basically, my PC that I usually play on, the CPU died, so I had to swap things over. That's why, unfortunately, this week, videos have been a little bit slower than they usually would be. But besides the point, the game, for some reason, in specific parts of reserves, has crazy frame drops. I'm crashing all of the time. I mean, I've done everything you can think of. Everything, any piece of advice that's out there, you can think of to get the game working as it should. And it just will not. I've had multiple crashes while trying to make videos for you guys. Like I say, the frame drops just go to like one or two frames in certain areas. And it's just, it's basically in certain parts unplayable. So what I wanted to do was wait for this update with the DLC pack to hopefully see if they fixed it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't have an answer for you guys if it has been fixed right now. But I am hearing from a lot of people who basically share the information when the game comes out. They do a lot of bit of testing to help people in the community work out, you know, if there's any problems, how to fix them and stuff. I am hearing that the crashes are still there. But for me so far, fingers crossed, we've not had a crash yet. The only thing that's happened to me is my save's gone. And I don't know why it does that. Every so often with an update, the save will go. And everything was backed up. My saves are always backed up because obviously <laughs> I want to make sure that I keep everything that I've got so far. But it's just disappeared again. So I'm going to have to go around again to try and find out if I can get my save back and get back to where we were. But yeah, I don't really understand why after every update something happens with people's saves because I'm still getting messages from other people too. We've not abandoned the game. I know I've had a couple of messages asking that too. As long as we, like, we enjoy the game, we're still going to play it, guys. As long as it's fun and as long as there's cool things to do. If it becomes stagnant and there's nothing else to do, then it's, it's pointless us making videos on it because we're just recycling the same stuff over and over again. It's going to be fun for us to play. We're going to keep playing it as long as it's fun to play, as long as there's cool stuff to show you guys and that we can enjoy too. But... I haven't been able to play enough of the game yet to see if the problems are still persisting. Things like game crashes, or like I said, my save file breaking, or things like that. Do you agree with that, Taco? Is there anything else that you want to add to that? I don't think there is. I think no, that everything. pretty much covers everything, yeah. Dude, do you know what I haven't asked you yet? What? How's your quarantine going? How are you finding it? Uh, handling well. It's, you know, it takes a little bit to get used to. Um, yeah? But, uh, yeah, Boring, yeah, isn't it? Uh, yes and no. I mean, for people like us, I guess we, we game. So, boring is, you know, is a relative term. I, I mean, boring friends. in the sense because, like, obviously, like, gamers have been pre prepared for this quarantine thing for years. Right. We, we've been making jokes about that, like, constantly having with gamers. So, this is nothing. Yeah. But it's just the simple fact that, you, you you know, it's not it's not smart to go outside right now or, like, even just go into the shops. It's a, you know, it's a risk that you that's, shouldn't really yeah, be taking unless you need to. Is, uh, you know, yeah. like, uh, we want to go shopping, but you can't, you know, you, you, it's, you, you make a second choice. So, yeah, never mind. So, it's, in that aspect, it's a little weird. But, uh, nice thing is, I live out in the country, way out in the country. So, going outside, I'm, you know, you're not getting dirty looks for going for walks yeah. and stuff like that. And, uh, it's, yeah, you know, I'm kind of jealous at that point right now because you've got a lot of space to work with and stuff, whereas I live pretty much right in the city of where I live. So, yeah. <laughs> like, going out for me, it's, it's, it's super sketch. But what have you been finding to occupy the time the most? Just playing video games and stuff? Yeah, video games went, you know, in the morning because it's cold still. But uh, then, uh, What have you been you playing? Know. What have you been playing, I want to know? Golf. <laughs> <laughs> have you been playing golf games? Yeah. Been chilling out playing some golf? 
a lot of golf, a lot of golf, and then uh, a lot of solo games. Like uh, I've I've been really getting into like the the card games and stuff like that. So. Yeah, you like all that stuff, don't you? That that you like all that tedious stuff that I can't stand. You yeah, love like yeah, digging the, deep into it, all, yeah. The heavy thinker games. I I like it for a short amount of time, and then I'll you know, and not necessarily get burnt out on it. Like uh, like in short spurts when I play it, I could play a couple rounds of it, and then my my brain is like fried. That is a fried, but it's like it's a good exercise. You know, I treat it as you know how they have those uh the brain booster exercise games that you can down for the uh, you know. Play yeah, yeah, brain trainers. Yep, yeah, yep. that's what these are for me. The, you know, because it's they're thinker thinking games. Oh, that reminds me as well. You know, there's another hunting game coming out. Uh, uh, yes. Hunting sim. It's that one that you brought up a while ago. That what was it called? Hunting. Uh, hunting Simulator Two. Yep. Hunting Simulator Two. Yeah, yeah. It looks actually really good. You get a dog. Yes. You get a dog in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we we played the first one together. We tried that. I don't remember um, playing it. You know, yeah, we played it. It's very, it's a lot more arcadey feeling. Um, Is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Hunting Simulator One. It's they have they had a lot of animals that we were wanting on here, like they had the the, the cougars and stuff like that prior before yeah. Call of the Wild did. So I was pretty excited about that. But yeah, just the movements and everything felt a lot more arcadey. So I'm kind of hoping they dial that back and play it more like a realistic version, because it does. They have dogs. They have bunch of different reserves and stuff i'm pretty excited about it so yeah it seems like they've stepped it up quite a lot doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah. based off i mean obviously screenshots are one thing and then when you get in the game it might be a complete potato of a game but you, <laughs> you just never know until you play it but i'm excited yep. yeah a couple of well uh, i had what did they have it had uh bullet uh we had that bullet follow whatever so if you shot something it actually chased the bullet and show yeah like sniper stuff. elite that's yeah, cool yeah. i love that Yep. It's not realistic at all, but it's actually really sick, so you can see the trajectory of your shot. Oh, oh, hello. 22 frames. Oh, yeah, this area here. I don't know if you can see this, Taco. Um, I'm still holding okay. steady. Are you really? 59, oh. 59, 60, yep. Got a piggy. And, and we're back. There we go. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad I actually caught that on the recording. Nice. So if you guys just saw that, I went from being pretty much normal, and then all of a sudden, it just tanked, like completely tanked. And I, like, it's nothing to do with my system. Now remember, you you, you will here. hold integrity with a 50 cal on a road there. So let's try it. <laughs> yes. The 50 cal round ball, you will. Uh, wait, really? The round you will, yeah, yeah. Wait, not, not the wait, mini you ball, joking? but the round. No, yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. The round will. The sphere. Oh my god, okay, we need to test that. I, I was actually joking. Oh wait, that's right, because it, it would hold integrity on a springbok, wouldn't it? Yep. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right here, Taco. Oh, dude. Okay. Tango. Tango down. Tango down. Nice shot. Tango disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right, well, it's down. Oh, please, if this, if this legitimately does hold integrity that's amazing that's a lot of fun all right let me see okay so female 18.95 fur type comment all the basic stuff we got everything because we went through double lung it held integrity it's a class three animal that round nice. ball is amazing well okay so if you think about it you know it's just a, a circle right it's just a, or a sphere so it, when it hits and penetrates the animal, it's not going to distort. Yeah, it's not going to distort and expand too much like uh, the mini ball where it, it has like a hollowed out point and it's designed to expand after it penetrates. So, yeah, it's going to do a lot more oh. damage. Taco. Did you see a bison? Bison. She looks like a skinny bison. That's a really weird looking one. Mm -hmm. She's dancing. Look at her. Yeah. Oh, here comes some more behind her too. Do you want me to hold off? Do you no, get no, a shot? no, 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 you, you take okay. a shot. We're testing here. Kind of want to go for that bottom pit there. All right, as soon as you go across the road. Oh, don't charge. Don't charge. Oh, get up. Right, I think I shot her a couple of times, so... Oh, okay, nice. So, I hit left lung, single lung, and then we went through the stomach and intestines, and then it was the uh, right lung, right scapula. So, 59, 28%, and 13%. So, female, 439 kilograms. 
Nothing special with any of this. Trophy rating of 89.2. And we... Okay, animals shot more than two times. I didn't get that one because I, I smacked the three times. Right. Session score, 199 cash. It's so different than the old setup used to be. Because we've not been playing a lot of it, it's so weird seeing this setup. I do prefer it more, I won't lie. But it's it's so different than the uh, the old setup because you're used to training your eyes to like the score, the integrity, and the yeah. you know the credits <laughs> that you get and stuff. So yeah, it took a while for me to get used to too. I like it personally. A lot of people don't like it. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of it. It's more realistic, is what it is, and it's going to be. And it'll, it'll allow them to make some changes to the ammo types. You know, when it comes to uh, polymer tip and yeah, a lot easier. Oh, follow there. Yeah, they're all coming out of the... I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to try and mark them for you. There you go. Yep. Couple of them there. Oh, change weapons accidentally. Keep marking them for you. Oh, good hit. Very good hit. 75 oh. still. 50. I think two slugs is the ideal with that. Yep, yep. She should be going down here in a second. She was down to 25.50 there the second shot. I gotta say, I really do love that oil spill effect on the barrel of the 50 cal. I really, really... I don't know what it is about that. I'm like, um, you know when certain birds like are attracted to like, you know, shiny things? Yeah. This is my shiny thing. That oil yeah, that, spill effect? Oh, love, dude. Uh, like A good patina, you know, it just, it looks old. It looks nice. Oh, the rust? Yeah. 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 Well, not even a rust, but like, uh, well, in this case, I consider that a patina too, because it's it's metal. It's been oxid or ox oxidized. Oxidized? Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it yeah, looks yeah. like old metal. Old metal does that, you know, new metal with all the additional nickel and all that stuff that's been added to it. They don't have that effect anymore when you oil them. So 33 meters and then 43 meters, the second shot. Um, so you did put two into it? Yep, put two into it. Uh, my harvest doesn't matter. Let's see, double. So I kept it under two shots, or two shots are under. Uh, what was the, the fourth one? Oh, let me uh, test something. You're in the animal right now, aren't you? Yep. Okay, yeah, it still doesn't work. I was testing to see if I could claim it, because there was a weird bug where somebody claimed an animal, and you could also claim that animal for extra points. People were telling me about a while back. Oh, uh, just because they're... Do you know what, though? I am half tempted to try it, to, just to see what it does. Absolutely. Because I've got a side shot there. That bison as well looks really weird. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it's just really strangely not proportionate. It's got like <laughs> just real big fat chunks on the front of it. <laughs> right. Well, how far out are you? 96 meters, right? Let me switch to that then real quick. Oh, I'm going through it. Mm. <laughs> Can't see anything. Big plume of smoke. <laughs> Did we hit it? Let's have a look. Got that re Oh, I think I did hit it. It's pissed. Oh, it's coming. Yep, it's going in. Oh, God, the reload's going to take me. 25, Don't 50, do it. 25. Don't do it's it, going bison. down. It's going down. It's going down. It's down. Let's take a look. Look at his neck. I don't know why. It looked so weird that before I took the shot. Okay, so what do we get? Well, we, we get... Oh, no. Improper ammo for this animal. Yeah. So you don't want to use that. I think I used the, uh, the mini ball ammunition, which is the one that ranges up to 200. So, male 667, common, level 3. We didn't use the right ammo, but we did get one shot or less, intact trophy organs, and one hit on a vital organ. 70 meters, okay. Right, let's switch back to 3. Dial that down to 100. Come on, just stop, turn to your side once. Oh, it's coming right in. <laughs> Can't see. Is it down? I think it's down. <laughs> it's just nice. a guessing game with this 50 cal because <laughs> it's when, once you fire it, that plume of smoke is just like, is it? Is it down? Is it not? That's what is it I gone? Liked about it. That's what I loved about uh, classic fire in uh, um, muzzle loaders and that is just this big cloud of smoke and then it's then you're just lost. You don't know what yeah. the heck's going on. You don't know where the animal went. And it, it looks like it went down instantly as well. I don't think it traveled yet. It didn't. It was a... One shot, one kill. We got ourselves a gold. Everything, proper ammo for this animal. I'm an animal shot two times or less. Intact trophy organs. Hit one vital organ or more. Level 7. And the score was 173.7. Nice. It's actually a really good rifle to use on the red deer then. I shot straight. God, that was actually quite a lucky shot that I didn't hit that scapula. 
straight down on it though, like this area. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, I got him. I led that a little bit too. Oh, I got him. I nailed him. Got him. <laughs> that was cool. I get everything on the checks. What did I hit? Okay, yeah, I hit single lung. It went back through to the stomach. Yeah, that's you. No, that's me. Uh, this one was you. Oh, yeah, this one was you. So, uh, this one was a class four animal, female, and you got all of the checks, proper ammunition and everything. You got a silver... And it was a rating of 50.6. You hit it through the scapula. It went through both lungs and then through the other scapula. That's a really nice shot. That's essentially so you what you have here. You have 60, a trophy rating of 62 off check marks. Uh, scapula. Actually, it went through both lungs and then the scapula. So. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Yours went through one scapula, through both lungs, and then the other side. Yep, yep. You went through both lungs and then the one. So that's awesome. <laughs> Just opposite. Yep, I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Can't go down. It's not getting up from that. Holy shit. It's ne definitely not getting up from that. If there's another road here in the background looking at us, like, oh my god, what just disintegrated, <laughs> Shirley? Where's he, where's, he, where's he gone? Hold on. <laughs> Apparently, you curved your shot. I curved my shot. I'm so confused. Because. Okay, <laughs> you'll see it in the video. Basically, the shot that I took, I got dead center lung, but it's mm -hmm. saying um, left lung, two hits. It's not saying you hit it at all, and the shot that you took <laughs> came in from the other side. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so apparently you were stood on the other side of this uh, road here. And you hit the other lung, but you didn't hit the other <laughs> lung. You missed it, went through the other lung like a ghost bullet, and hit the same side as me. <laughs> what is going on? Well, what's that movie where uh, you, they uh, move their their pistols real quick from left to right, and they can wanted, wanted? Yes, that's what I did. Yeah, that's right. I, I curved it. <laughs> I just... Yep. Three, two, one, shoot. We get it. I don't oh, know. I think I got mine. It's a cloud. Wait, wait. I think yours just dropped. Dude, that's not easy doing that without the scope. It's no. fun. It's, it's just, it's definitely a challenge. We shall see. One's definitely down. I think yours dropped instantly. Yep. I think yours did though. Like after, yeah, yours did. It's in the road. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. We did it. I like him. I like him. I was, kind of, I didn't think I would like the M1 as much again because of the audio. But it's, it is a lot of fun with it being semi-automatic as well, and you get that iconic pinging noise yep. when you go through the uh, when you go through the clip. The second one, the shotgun, I really do like it. I love the addition of the brass um, the brass rounds as well, the shotgun slug. I think it's really really cool. It's got that cool factor because of Terminator. Favorite though by far is the 50 cal. Oh, I got right lung, stomach, and liver. I just aimed a little bit for, um, too far to the left, but I got I, everything. Uh... No vitals. I hit it in the spine. So, <laughs> <laughs> dropped it. Spine shots are back. Oh no! <laughs> no, I, well, oh, I didn't no. get the vital. So I didn't get that last check mark. So non-vital organ hit. <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, just like every weapons pack, we kind of come in with the idea. Uh, I don't know. Do we really need that? Uh, but I'm like you. Uh, I find myself enjoying it, especially the muzzle loader, and that's what I've been yep. asking for for a long time. Especially ever since I started playing with them in uh, classic. Um, just the smoke aspect and the you know the, the difficulty of a muzzle loader. Because uh, in all honesty, this game always you know becomes too easy. Um, just like a lot of games, you play it too much and it becomes easy. A muzzle loader makes it that much more difficult. Um, with the stuff, you know. Sorry. Repetitive. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to take this freaking road in that way you're talking. But with the... And then the fact that they made them classic weapons instead of modern weapons. I love yep. classic um, stuff. So that's, that's another aspect that I really love about it. It's got that cool factor, hasn't it? Yeah. Yep. But with yeah. that, I want more patches still. I still I still feel they did their true patch thing about, what, six, seven months ago, and it didn't really fix anything. They need to do that again. They need to 
do their own in-house self, you know, no leaving, no doing anything else, just focus on fixing the game first, in my opinion, and let's get some of these mini, these little issues that we've all been having for it's so long. It's super important that we're very them. clear with this because it can come across as bitching about the game. And I want to make everybody very clear watching this video right now. We have a lot of love for Call of the Wild. It's so it's one of the main reasons a lot of you guys found the channel and we don't want the game to suffer because of bad performance or bugs and things like that so when we say things like you know the game needs fixing it needs attention from the devs what we're really saying is we can do without one two maybe even three months of content we can do without that as long as the devs just sit down they read of everything that the, the game's got as a problem like a major issue with it being performance or crashes or you know the little niggly things that kind of end up being a bigger problem later on in, in you know in the in the future if they look at that and they go okay we'll fix this we'll take a couple of months to fix this one oh, go down <laughs> it's, not gonna go, it's gonna make me chase it um if they fix those things i think the game will be in a much much better place for the future and for new players because the game's getting new players all of the time we get so many nice comments from people saying that we've helped them with the game or, you know, they watch the videos and they're really enjoying Call of the Wild. But every so often, we'll get a lot of people saying the same thing as well. Like, are you experiencing this bug? Are you, you know, how do you, how do you fix this? And we don't really have the answers to them because there are a lot of bugs in the game right now. And it definitely needs attention. So, I, I'm, I'm with you, dude. I'm exactly with you. I think the game needs at least a couple of months where the devs are just going through what the community said about the problems that it's got. Get the game polished up. Get it fixing, working properly, and then... You know, later on down the line, if they've got ideas for, you know, more things to introduce, whether it just be updates or even potentially more DLC, as long as it's not extremely expensive and stuff, I'm sure everyone will be on board with it. For now, though, we are going to end. If you did enjoy it, guys, drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all. I'm going to get ready. In the next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that has a hell of an impact at the end of that. Yeah, it does.